Welcome back everybody. Thanks for tuning in. So today I'm going to go over AC on solar. I've had a lot of questions, even I had a lot of questions when I first started about what kind of AC, how much AC can you run on a system. I got a 5k system is what I'm running solar and I have a 12,000 BTU Sankey 22 sear AC that I run not at night. I only run it during the day when it's really really hot here in the mountains at night open up the windows don't need to run the AC so gonna show you guys my AC unit we're gonna look at some of the numbers on the inverter see how many watts it's pulling during the day uh, you can see behind me today is an all right sunny day it's kind of overcast there's a cold front that's sweeping down from the United States it's supposed to hit tonight so uh, it's a lot of smoke from the cane fields that they're burning right now uh, but I'll try to go over all that in your video. So I uh, hope some of this information helps you when you're making a decision on your solar system along with AC. So right now it's right about 12 p.m. high noon. Trying to give you guys an idea that it's sunny, but it's hazy. So the sun is shining right now, but it's hazy. So I'm not getting as much sunshine as I normally would if there wasn't any clouds or there wasn't this haze in the air. So that's why I picked today to do it. Uh, so we can see how much power I'm getting in from the solar units, how much it's actually taken out of the inverter to run this AC unit. So let's go ahead and get to that. All right, so this right here is my air conditioning unit. It's the Sankey inverter. It's the 22 sear energy efficient, the 22 sear energy efficient are the ones that are really recommended for solar. Uh, they don't use a lot of wattage. They're really, really good. But you can see the solar right now is turning this just fine. I recycle all the water I get right here. So even the condensation from the AC unit, you can see I let it go in this bucket and I'll use this to water plants in the garden or uh, refill the windshield washer in the vehicles, just whatever I need some extra water for. So as you can see, that's the outside unit of the split phase AC that I'm running here on a 5K solar system. All right, so back in here in the room where the inverter's at, once again, I'm running the EG4 120 240 split phase off-grid inverter. So the only thing that I'm running right now is the air conditioning unit. That's the only thing, the air, con unit, uh, excuse me, the air conditioning unit and this one light right here. That's the only thing in the entire house that's on right now. So you can see uh, PV1 input, which I only have the one input. I'm at 1.51 kilowatts is my input right now. So let's see how much a uh, power that this AC is drawing. Like I said, it's the only thing on. So uh, line two is 424 watts. Line one is 583 watts. So I'm right at about a thousand watts is just what this AC is pulling, uh, which is really, really good. So what I'm going to do is um, in just a minute, I'm going to turn everything in the house on, all the appliances, all the lights, all the fans. I'm going to turn everything that we have on to see what a difference it is on what my input is versus what the output is. I'm going to turn everything on. I'm going to turn every single power thing on that we have here in our 20 by 30 house, except the water pump. Of course, the water pump, when it kicks on, it'll be anywhere from 400 to 600 watts is normally what it draws down. Uh, but even when I have everything on, if the water pump kicks on, I get no light dim and you really can't tell. It's still enough. So I still say that the 5K system for us is just enough to run everything. So come on. Let's go turn everything on and uh, see what a difference it is. All right, so right now input is about 2.68 kilowatts. As you can see, it went up. I'm at about 50% load. That's with every single thing that I have on on our homestead right now. Uh, as you can see, the battery bank, I'm only at three right now because the batteries are charging. But once again, let's go see what the loads are real quick before I show you that everything in the homestead is on right now. So we got uh, line two is 415 watts. Line one is 1.14 kilowatts. So that is with every single thing I have on. 
as you see closet lights this bathroom ceiling fan with the light bedroom ceiling fan with the light living room both ceiling fans all the lights TV on this fan AC is running and then the fridge and freezer on AC is still running and that's with everything on so this is what I learned is that for us 5k is enough yeah so as you guys could see I had everything in our 20 by 30 cabin on I had the AC running I had the TV running, I had all the ceiling fans with the lights on, I had the fridge on, the freezer on, everything that was plugged into the walls, the charging units, uh, the water pump even though it wasn't on, when the water pump kicks on and everything is still on, it doesn't flinch. So you can see with everything on, I was still running just at 2000 watts. I have a rated at 5000 watt system. so. Like I said, a lot of people were wondering, can you run an AC just off of 5,000 watts? When I was originally looking, it was really, really iffy, and I didn't get, to be honest with you, I really got bad information out there. And when it comes to ACs, it's pretty much going to be a night thing is why they want you to get the bigger battery bank. But like I said, I don't run AC at night. I, I only run it during the day. So for us, I can run the AC from the time that sun comes up till the time it goes down, run everything else in the house, completely charge the batteries, and you can't even tell, which is awesome. So in my experience, from what I've done here in Belize, yes, you can absolutely run an AC system off a of 5K system. Now keep in mind, I only got... The 12,000 BTU because I was told well if you go any bigger it wouldn't be able to run it well after doing a little bit more research I'm probably going to upgrade to an 18,000 BTU because I have the slanted roof the vaulted ceiling the the hip roof on the inside so there's a lot above the ceiling line that gets warm uh, and this should run that just fine as well. It's only going to pull about another 400 watts on that completely. Now, like I said, if it's a really, really cloudy day or it's cloudy for a few days in a row, of course you're going to have to run your generator or something. But here in Central America, Belize, on 5K off-grid, you can completely run an AC all day long. And that's with running all the other appliances, as long as your major appliances like hot water heater and your stove and your range are on gas which ours are so hopefully this was some good information and you guys can use it and apply it to your system or if you're thinking about getting off grid and getting on solar and you want to have an ac so hopefully this information was good take it easy thanks for tuning in please like share subscribe and we'll keep bringing y'all videos have a good one